And first of all, like, there is a huge happiness industry out there in the world, uh, thinking that you can go to seminars on happiness, and uh, in British schools there are like wellness um, classes, and even in um, corporations, there's more and more corporations <coughs> want to try and make their staff happy. And this particular person was saying, well, maybe it's not just something which you can do with your mind and just to tell a person who's very poor or very sick or going through a difficult relationship or having a very, very difficult time at work. Is it really fair to say, it's just your attitude, mate? Come on, change your attitude and everything will be okay. And basically, that, that can almost summarize what this person meant by the happiness industry. And his argument was that there are some things in this life, if you just tell people, oh, well, just get yourself together, stop complaining, so you're in a very poor house and you've got cancer and your wife is leaving you and your children are in prison. Ah, so what? Just it's only two bad bricks in the wall. Look at the rest of the bricks in the wall, as my favorite story says, and just be at peace with it. And his point was actually quite a well-made point, that maybe there is something, you shouldn't just be uh, trying to bring happiness to impossible situations, but maybe you should be doing something about it as well. Maybe that we should uh, put more attention just on the uh, social problems of our society. You know, things like the lack of uh, equity in our wealth distribution, you know, or in the fact that some parts of our society are discriminated against. And should you do something there as well?